Sky News understands that the 21-year-old man arrested by police investigating the Parsons Green Tube attack is Yahya Farouk. Well, it has links to the foster couple, Ron and Penny Jones, whose home was raided by police over the weekend. Sky senior correspondent Ian Woods reports now on the latest developments. Just across the road from another West London tube station, the latest police search. Officers worked into the night at this fast food shop in Hounslow East. It's where their 21-year-old suspect was arrested late on Saturday. Yaya Farouk is registered at a house which police have also been searching since Saturday evening. Detectives are also trying to work out if this is their 18-year-old suspect. It was 10 to 7 on Friday morning. He was spotted carrying a little shopping bag, leaving Sunbury on Thames. At 20 past 8 that morning, it partially detonated on the district line train at Parsons Green Station, sending a fireball through the carriage. Oh, is that bag on fire? Yeah. The footage was taken at the back of this terraced home in Sunbury, which was raided by armed police and which has been searched all weekend by forensics teams. It belongs to Ron and Penny Jones, who fostered hundreds of young people, including recently refugees from conflict zones. There's nothing to say the foster parents knew about the explosive device, but they have links to the two suspects. My mum shouts me Saturday afternoon to come and see something. You're thinking, you know, is, is a dog got out or something? And see guys with guns pointing at the windows, shields, Penny telling them where bits were in the house. And I said, they're, they're going in there to find someone. I've lived down this road my whole life and always, always seen people come in and come in. You know, you've always, you, you've got troubled foster people, but they've always come out better people than that's because of Penny and Ron. They're amazing, and it's just horrible what's happened to them. They helped me out in primary school when I had some attendance problems. They'd help anyone. And I saw a lot of people on social media giving them a lot of backlash, and it's, it's not their fault. They, they'd, they'd give their house up to anyone. They, they've got a heart of gold. But two of the young men they know are now in police custody. The 18-year-old arrested trying to leave the port of Dover, and Yaya Farouk arrested at the fast food shop in Hounslow. He lives at an address in Stanwell, just next to the perimeter of Heathrow Airport. The house, on a small red brick estate, has been searched by police. With two suspects in custody, the national threat level was dropped back down from critical. While an attack is still highly likely, it's no longer described as imminent. What it indicates is that good progress has been made. Uh, the assessment is made by an independent organisation and they have clearly decided that sufficient progress has been made to have that confidence. But it is still an ongoing operation. The sharp increase in armed patrols will soon revert to normal levels. This investigation, though, is still moving quickly. Ian Woods, Sky News. Well, let's go live now to Sky's Olivia Kinsley, who's in Sunbury on Thames, where police are continuing their search. Uh, what new developments overnight, Olivia? Well, no official update from the Metropolitan Police this morning, although you can see from the police and the huge cordon still outside uh, along this street that this is still very much an active scene. We are, though, now getting what we believe to be more details about a 21-year-old man who we understand was recently registered as living at the address that they are searching here. We understand his name is Yahya Farouk and that he is indeed the man that was arrested late on Saturday night at a chicken shop in Hounslow, a fried chicken shop, uh, just a few miles from here. That shop is called Aladdin's. It's on Kingsley Road. And staff there this morning have uh, told Sky News that Yahya Farouk had, in fact, been working there for the past few months. One member of staff told us that actually on Saturday night he had been working there, Yahya Farouk. He finished his shift at about 11.30 p.m. And then as he left work, left the chicken shop, he was approached by a police officer uh, posing as a homeless man. That police officer then made the arrest along with a number of other uh, police officers. This morning we've also been speaking to the boss at that fried chicken shop, a man called Sul man Sawa and this is what he had to say about his employee Yahya Farouk. I was aware that he was a refugee, yeah. uh, that he did come here. Um, what, why, because he told you that? Yes, uh, he was a refugee, we, we were aware of that. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't something that was hidden, it was just something quite normal. Sure, from, uh, from Syria, yeah? Uh, yes, from Syria. Yeah. Yes. Um, and does he talk about the Syrian conflict with you? or? Um, his family no, back at all? no, surprisingly, no. He didn't really talk too much about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, only other than, you know, they, uh, they're going through a hard time. 
sure. uh, refugee, mainly it was discussed, it was discussed in the context of his family. So more quite interesting details emerging today about one of the men that we believe to be one of the arrested suspects. Of course, another 18-year-old man also arrested at Dover on Saturday morning. Uh, we believe that both men are still being held at police stations in South London, where they are indeed being questioned by the police. Thanks very much, Olivia.